this is wrong. And you may be wondering how, which is why today I'm showing you five building mistakes that you probably don't even know that you're doing. These are super common, and funny thing is, most people think these are actually the right way to do things. So sit back, prepare to have your mind blown, and make sure to watch the entire video because I bet you there's at least one of these that you probably didn't know you were doing wrong. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, pop quiz, what is wrong with this picture? Now, this is one thing that you may have already seen a lot of people doing, and it's for good reason. No, it's not a mistake. It's pretty common practice to place your shop front like this instead of the quote-unquote correct way. Because when it's placed like this, and then you try and place a box, you have to come really far out from the wall. But if you place it like this, you can place it right up against there. This allows you to do things like this. This is something you would otherwise not be able to do if it was placed the quote unquote correct way. And don't worry, if you're worried about soft siding, it still takes over 883 spears and six hours to soft side this. All right, this next one is one that literally everybody's guilty of at least once, I guarantee it. So you got your high external walls, and you're ready to make your compound. You start placing. And then it comes time for the gate. So here's normally what you do. Place your gate. Lock it. Open it up. And then you place your airlock. And now you may not realize it, but there is a very fatal flaw to this design. So all you need to beat this design is two ladders. You place one here and you place another one right here you come up the ladder like this and then from here you go over to here jump up onto here jump in and you're in zero fall damage so the way you're actually supposed to do it is to flip it like this place your lock it should be on the right side open it up and you can still do the airlock. And now people can hop into your compound without taking any damage. Some other pros to this design is that say you're leaving and then someone is camping you, you can place turrets on each side of the gate so that if they are waiting here and you close the door, they'll come face to face with the turret. This next one isn't something that's necessarily super wrong, but it's something that can be done a lot better. So this is your standard 3x3 clan based design. And when it comes time to place the jump up on the first floor, normally what you do is this. You might have a shop front and a door here. And that's the entrance design. Expand up a little more. Get rid of this. And that's it. But what often happens in a 3x3 is people raid through the doors. Most of the time, it's a pretty cheap way to get through. So instead of putting a normal wall here on the jump up, replace it with a window. Then you can put a vertical embrasure, just like so. And when you log off for the night, put a glass window to strengthen it. Now this is the same cost as going through the wall. And when you wake up, pick up this window. And in an online raid situation, you have much better control over the jump ups. This pairs especially nicely with having the shop front here because you can see the enemy and then decide when to peek. This is just one thing that makes raid defenses that much easier. Alright, coming in at number 4 is a way that you can fit 5 large boxes in your TC room instead of 4. And before you go to the comments, no, you don't have to lower any foundations. Also, make sure to drop a comment if you want me to make a video on a super simple refinery base. Because I see so many people just having oil refineries out in their compound. When it costs like 5k stone to throw up a cheap refinery base. Alrighty guys, that is it for the video today. Make sure to drop a comment if you did end up knowing every one of these. If you do, I'll give you a heart. Give you a virtual heart. And a, a pat on the back. Hopefully I taught most.